Not another one. So you must be the hallucination that Dr. Hooves warned me about when I stole the pony box. Great. I am not a hallucination. Then what are you? You can call me the Nameless One, or Nameless for short. Sure. Well, I'm just gonna try to finish getting my pony box to work, okay? Do you even know how it works? What? Do I know how it w Oh, yes, I know how it works. But why don't you try explaining it, just in case, so I can correct you when you're wrong? You have no clue. <sighs> I guess I can try explaining it. However, I need to know if you understand what the multiverse is first. The multiverse? I'll take that as a no. The multiverse is fairly simple on the surface. It's a collection of universes that each differ in some way. I suppose that your universe and that of the human world would be the easiest example. Are you following so far? What? Yeah, yeah, I'm following along. But isn't the human world just another parallel universe to our own? That's correct. The multiverse is made up of infinite universes, some so similar that only a single event has changed, and others nothing like yours. For example, there's a universe of shape-shifting sapient machines. Getting back to your phone booth, Pony box. It appears to be capable of piercing what is called the Crystal Sphere by some multiversal travelers. So, what's a Crystal Sphere? Think of it sort of like a snow globe around each universe. They have varying degrees of thickness to them and can only be pierced by a handful of things. It prevents your universe from being invaded by just anything. It's still possible to get through, but it requires either a specific item or skill set. Okay, sure. Let's say the multiverse is real. Does that mean that there are other versions of me? And if there are, do I even matter? I mean, I wouldn't be any different from any of them. Careful. I can see your brain melting out of your ears from here. Why do all of you seem to break as soon as the idea of other yous comes up? Yes, there are others that resemble you. For all intents and purposes, many are identical. However, you each have different impacts on your individual universe. Some of you follow entirely different paths. I mean, I don't see you waving a shield around. Oh, so that's wonderful. There's a version of me that actually likes violence. That's just great. Wait, that gives me an idea. Is there a way for others to go into other universes within the multiverse, or do you have to use a mirror portal for that? I wouldn't say like. He tends to get thrashed more often than not. As to your question, most of the time you would need to find a portal or use the magic mirror to travel along the connected paths they lead to. What other paths? The mirror can only go into the human world. The human world is not the only path that the mirror can take you on. The main six discovered that there are other universes connected to the mirror. The primary one being the Mirrorverse, where Celestia fell in love while Luna was banished to the moon. Wait, what? She fell in love? With who? How? What happened? There's just so many things I want to know. She fell in love with an uncorrupted Sombra. Anyways, back to your phone booth. Phone booth? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the pony box. I need your help getting it to work. <sighs> Fine. But before we do, I want to thank everyone that's already joined me and my friends on Patreon, especially my alicorn and creature tier patrons. Princess Sam, Sapphire Sparkle, Trailblazer, Angel of Speed, and a special thanks to my derpy tier patron, Skarmex, who says that Spike is best pony. And if you want to support me and join my Discord channel, the link's above. Alright Nameless, let's see if you can get this working. Firstly, we need to find the button to start this. So will this button do it? Don't touch it! <laughs>